Kia ora, it's Mike Atkinson. This presentation is looking at how to tie off a belay device. And the context of it is that if you are um, belaying on the ground and use a top rope or a lead belay and you need to tie it off to get your hands free for some reason. The first step is to take the dead rope, so this rope here, and feed a bite or a loop of rope underneath the device through the carabiner and pulling it up. And you need about an arm's length of rope here to pull through, so quite a bit. And the climber's weight will still be on the rope, so you need to hold that tension while you do that. And two hands is quite useful here. So once you've pulled that arm's length of rope through that bite, Go around the rope going up to the climber with that with that loop or bite and thread that back through here. So that's a half hitch. So you're going to tie that off. That's your first half hitch. And so here you can see the first half hitch is tied. Here's the bite or loop of rope coming out of that half hitch. So you're going around that rope, going up to the climber, back through and, and pulling it nice and tight back down onto the device. That's your first half hitch. Half hitch, you're going to do two more of those. This is your second half hitch. So again, take the bite of rope around the rope going up to the climber and then back through back through itself and pull it nice and tight, cinching it tight on top of the first half hitch. And finally, your third half hitch, same process again on top of the second half hitch, around the rope going to the climber, back through and the tail the tail of the loop, you want about a fingertip to elbow tail left. Once you've tied those three half hitches, you can take your hands off the rope. And that is tying off a belay device. It's not an overly common thing you need to do, but a useful skill to know, especially if you need to perform some sort of rescue to get your hands free to attach prussics to press up to the climber, for example.